Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title. And I'm so glad you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. And today is a beautiful day to celebrate Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and there is no other. The one that is and was and is to come. Amen? Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, we all are born with the cardinal mind. And we have to have the mind of Jesus to receive the Holy Spirit. And the mind of Jesus was to please God and do His will. God allows the devil to be here to test us, to test our faith and love for Him. And so we have the desire to change, to renew that mind of ours, and to make proper changes in our life. And when we do, to please God and do His will, to obey Him, God will renew your mind completely and renew that stony heart of yours and a pure loving heart and fill you with the Holy Spirit. Because brothers and sisters, you can't beat the devil without the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. And not everyone receives the Holy Spirit at the same time. Some people receive it on their deathbed. Some people it takes years because they want to continue living that life of sin. But you must look forward to that heavenly mansion that he has for us. Brothers and sisters, if you have your Bibles, turn to the book of John, chapter 14, verse 2. It reads, and this is Jesus talking, In my house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Brothers and sisters, this is a real mansion waiting for you. A heavenly mansion, and it's better than any mansion you can imagine on earth. But not just that, brothers and sisters. Being in the presence, the presence of the Lord is so magnificent. The atmosphere, the feeling that you will have. Let me share something with you. I, I've only shared with a handful of people, but the Lord has put it on my heart, mind, and soul to share this personal thing that happened to me many, many years ago. When I was 28 years old, I had been married for about six months. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I had excruciating pain in my left arm. It was so painful. I got up and I went to the living room and I got on my knees and I was sweating profusely. And I prayed earnestly to the Lord to take the pain away. And I went back to bed. And shortly after that, I don't know if I was in my body or out of my body, but I went to heaven. I was on my way to meet the Lord. And I looked down and I could actually see the earth. And I looked up and I saw a sea of white, all white. And I, my body, I felt so amazing astronomically amazing words cannot explain to you how I felt how good I felt and I told the Lord I can't believe I'm saying this and I said those words because of how wonderful I felt how wonderful my body felt it was just amazing and so I said I can't believe I'm saying this Lord but Lord I want to go back and spend time with my wife and lead my friend to Christ. And instantaneously, I was back in my body. And so brothers and sisters, I'm trying to explain to you the best I can, because as I said, words really can't explain it. But the ambience that you are going to look forward to, when the Lord says to keep that upward call, okay, Think of that mansion, but think of the surrounding atmosphere, the ambience that you're going to feel is so wonderful. Nothing on earth, nothing on earth can compare to it because you're going to be in the presence of the Lord and you're going to have that feeling. And God just gave me a taste of what it's going to be. Brothers and sisters, it's going to be far better. And so when Paul would find himself wretched, fallen in sin, he would press even harder to please God and do His will for that upward call. And so you and I have to do the same. Paul says he put the sins behind him and pressed forward for that upward call. 
And so when you're pressing forward for that upper call, for now on, think about how wonderful it's going to be, how much joy you're going to have in your heart, mind and soul. Amen? Amen. And so brothers and sisters, always remember to take Christ as your master, your teacher, your example. Believe his doctrine and obey him, and all will be well with you. Amen? Amen.